Welcome, I'm Amanda, and today I'm playing with my counterfeit kit challenge from June, and I'm going to use the Freaky Fast Friday formula from the Scrap Room. You can find that on their blog or on their face group, um, group, and I just have it written out on the sticky, but I also have it there as the image that's in the Facebook group so that you can see. So the first page I'm cutting down is this black one, and it's going to be my 12 by 12 background. So... I can do that and then this one is SEI chocolate and it has a lot of lovey words on it and so I'm gonna cut this down to be my 11 by 11 and I'm not sure what I'm going to scrapbook for pictures yet but I like these two pages together so I thought that might work I have this blue scrap I'm going to show you in a second the blue scrap that's right underneath the image that have on is the seven and a half by four and a half and I also need a ten by four and a half so I'm going to get this and I'm just making sure I have enough room so I'm getting this piece of paper um, and it's I don't know what it is it is from a very very old paper pad that I had and I have lots of of it left <laughs> but I just I don't know it is what it is sometimes I find black hard to use when it's patterned like this with the tone on tone but I gutted it because I am going to use another piece of it for that 10 by four and a half and it's going to be my outside so I like that and I am going to put it on really really wonky because I like the way it looked wonky so very askew <laughs> On it goes and then I did cut out a couple of pieces that are the one by two and one by two and a half that are up on my glue but I'm not going to use those ones I try to use one of them but this took a totally different feel than I thought it was going to and so that bluey tealy textured page is seven and a half by four and a half and I thought maybe I'd use this one of our wedding almost 18 years ago, but it's not going to match with the rest of the album. And I looked at it for a little bit and went, ah, do I, do I not? I'm not going to. So I'm like, no. I like that picture. And yes, eventually I will scrapbook it. And I will have to pull out the album and maybe look quite a bit on that, but not yet. So... So I disappeared for quite a long time, so I did edit a lot of that out. So I came back with this picture. And so this one is oh, a long time before we were married. Um, I was just out of high school. My husband was still in high school because he's younger than I am. And um, yeah, but so I think about using this one and I pulled out some scraps because I'm not liking the other pieces that I pulled out for that one in one by two and one by two and a half so I'm looking at what else I have here and those are not quite gonna work but this pink works or the brown works for the wood grain so I'm gonna cut this one to be one by two and a half um, yep and it pulls in that pink and I don't mind this um checkered plaid but it doesn't it's not i don't know it's just not the style that i wanted and so i'm thinking about it it's it is not going to to last but i do think about it quite a bit and so i'm going eh, i'm not even sure about the picture there's awkward space at the top i'm thinking i can put a title there or some embellishment so I pulled out a whole bunch of different embellishment and I kept some of the struggle in um, quite a bit of the struggle in so you know that hey all of us do this and I can edit most of it out most of the time <laughs> or all the time if I want to so this is some of the product that I have so I thought maybe this um, 49 and market because it's got some of the more gray tones and I thought maybe this flower that I'm going to pull out here and it just it's going to get lost and I'm like 
but no, I get lost. I don't like it because I lose it. And there's nothing there I want to cut out. And so I'm going to think for a bit. And so I did definitely cut thinking time out because I probably sat there for, oh, I don't know, like 10 minutes thinking about what I wanted to do. So I went and I found these pictures and these pictures are a little bit later than the last one, but this is the end of June in 1999 with my husband, who is my boyfriend at the time. <laughs> We've been um, dating not quite a year at this point. We're at my brother's grad. This is in the high school. Um, I know it's in the high school because of the picture in the background. Um, and yeah, so my mom actually took these pictures. Yes, not the one even of us kissing because she told us to kiss. I was like, all right. <laughs> and then I'm going to just mark it out where I want to cut it just so that it lines up pretty good from the each of them. And then I'm going to cut them down. But you don't watch me cut them down because this is long enough. And so I'm looking at this. I'm like, maybe on the blue, but I'd have to cut more off on the blue. Maybe an L shape. I'm not liking that as much. Double checking they're the same width. Meh. Maybe if I put them all together. And then I decide to chop them down more. Sorry about the mic if you heard that. I just knocked it. <laughs> and so I edited that out too. And I cut these down quite a bit. This last one's going to get cut down just a little bit more. And now those are going to match really nicely on this blue piece. And I'm liking that a whole lot more. So I am going to do some washi on the back and this one didn't cut very nice and then I try and cut it and it still doesn't cut very nice. So the one edge on this has a little bit of a distressed look, but this is from film and not digital and I would have to dig in boxes to find another one to print and it is not going to happen. It is fine and I'm going to run with it. So I'm just going to washi tape these together so now it's like one block that's all lined up and I like that it, this actually ends up being a pretty simple design when I get done but man I just I didn't know what I wanted on here and it just was one of those things so still looking at these two pieces because for the the freaky fast Friday they I have to get a, a one by two and a one by two and a half on here so we'll get there eventually. I decide that I do like this. So I'm going to put this down for the picture mat and which is good. Um, sometimes when I'm not sure what to do, I put down the things that I totally know that I, where I want and what I want. So I was thinking maybe here. Nope. Do to do maybe down here. Maybe change this into a, a, a tag, which I do, but it's not going to fit in my tag punch. And I couldn't figure out, like, there wasn't going to be a, a turn it, and then I didn't want to piecemeal it together. But I do have one that's already cut for a little piece that I was going to use on something else. Let me just use my scissors, which is way easier. <laughs> right? Way easier. And then, so that works well. And then I was thinking maybe down here as like a spot to write the date or I don't know if it needs too much journaling. They're just the two of us when we're really young. <laughs> Actually, when I showed my, my youngest daughter these pictures, she's like, wow, you and daddy are so young. <laughs> yeah, because we're old now. But <laughs> yeah, we were young ones. And she's like, but daddy looks so little. He looks like he's Matea's age. Matea's is my oldest. And I was like, well, yeah, because he is. <laughs> so fun, fun. I decided instead of using the pink piece, I'm going to pull a little bit more of the blue in. And I'm going to use the pink side of the wood grain and this blue piece. And I'm liking that more. And I think maybe on this side, 
And I'm like, okay, what else do I need? Maybe this release piece? Eh, maybe. And then I pulled out my box of black and white and gray. Because I have black and white and gray on my page with a little bit of pink and a little bit of blue. And so I'm going to try and lean into some more of those. So I'm just going through this and picking out the stuff I like. And I have a lot of stuff to, like, use. Maybe I need to de-stash some of this. Some of those chipboard pieces I have had for a very long time. <laughs> like, probably 20 years for some of them. But... I don't know, like that big one in the top, like the, on the top of that box that just got covered up a little bit. Those are like all, and the ones on to the left side, those are all like 20 years old. And they're massive chipboard pieces, and I'm not sure what to do with them, but maybe I should pull them out and do one page with them and like peel them back and I don't know. Just pulling out stuff. There's lots in here. So anything that, that works for like young love, new love, love in general. So like hearts and literally things that say love on them is what I'm pulling. Um, and then I'm picking out these white and silver glitter stars because why not? I'm just trying to find some more silver ones because I got lots of white. And I do find enough of those, and I decide that's a lot to, to play with now. And I'm very gonna quickly going to be like, yes, no, maybe. So the wash piece, no. The gold on the tag, I decided no. Um, look at that. <laughs> very quickly. I do like this um, piece that says love on it, that has the, the frame on it. And I think that works really well. But I'm not going to use it. And I thought this Ellie Edwards notepad and this Project Life piece, but nope. And then I like this love that's chipboard that I've got in my hand. But I'm not entirely sure. And the Our Life, I didn't really want to use yet because this is the beginning of our life. We've been dating for about six months, almost a year. Almost a year. And so it didn't really seem appropriate yet. I don't know. I could have, but meh. <laughs> so I like that love. The love is like gray with white polka dots, which works with the gray and the white. But I thought I wanted a, maybe a little more pink. So I'm going to take the center of the O and I'm going to take this acrylic paint and I'm going to paint the center to see what I think. And I'm like, ah, oh, maybe. I don't know. And then I'm trying to decide what else I do. There's a whole bunch of paint that came out the top. I'm like, I don't want to waste this. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm going to use it. That's what I do. So I'm just checking to see underneath the picture what it looks like with the pink on the black. And I don't like that. So that's going to be fine. I'm going to use the outline and paint it to see if I like it more or less. And I, I don't really like the paint so I'm thinking about it still thinking about it I popped it in because if I want to paint them that'll be so much easier I decide I'm going to paint the edges of this lovely and then I decide no I'm just gonna paint the whole thing so that's a really similar pink to the pink that's in the background and I like that and I do add a little bit more on the one side so there is a little bit of difference there um, I decided to check out if I liked the pink on the blue. And so I did a little bit on that piece of scrap. And then I'm going to add more to this pink piece that already has like brush lines and stuff in it. And then I'm going to add some to the blue. And I am liking this a whole lot more already. And I'm going to add a little more to this photo mat for the pink as well. And it almost gives it a like, like there's washi there, but it's definitely paint. And it actually dries really nice. I was really, really happy with that. I'm going to get this stuff down. Because I'm not sure what else to, what to do now. So I'm going to get 
the stuff that I'm sure about on again. And so this is going to get stuck down and I'm making it straight with the inside. So in overall, those two mats are crooked, but they're actually lined up with the, the word paper. And then I'm going to put the love on and I've decided, yep, I'm going to keep it the gray and the white because there is gray in the background and it can tie in and I'm happy with that. And it's just going to overlap that photo mat just a little bit, which is good. Trying out some of these glitter hearts. I'm looking for, there's one pink one and I don't like the pink one. It's going to sit there for a minute, but it is not, not going to stay. But I was looking for some of the silver ones. Thought maybe of tucking a few things and I'm like, nope, I don't like that either. Nope, I don't like those. I decided there was too much paint on this, so I'm going to cut me all one more <laughs> tag. Because <laughs> we haven't done it enough. Um, it was just with that lovely piece, it was getting lost with the pink a little bit more than I wanted. Or I felt like it was. It probably was fine. But now I'm going to commit to the tags. Yay. <laughs> And then trying that one out one more time. This lovely is going to go on because aren't we sweet? And then I pulled this piece of ribbon and it's sheer in the middle and it's got some silver on the, the outside. And this is actually left over from the bouquet I made for my wedding like 20, almost 20 years ago. Not quite 20, 18 years ago. 18 years ago coming up here Monday <laughs> so so just thinking about this lovely I'm like mm, no mm, where oh I know what I can do I could put a little bit of black on it and yay now I like that and sparkly hearts so a white and a silver or a silver and a white And gluing that down a little bit more. I did use my tiny attacher to attach that ribbon so that they are on there. And I've got silver on the page anyway, so it works out well. Playing with some more of these hearts. Do I want lots on here? Nope, I don't. Nope, I don't. So some enamel dots, these are in gray. So that works out okay up here. That makes me happy. I just needed a little bit of something. And then, now I think for a bit. And so, no, I don't want that there. I will go and find this um, lowercase letters from Hip Kit Club. And I love these pink ones. I, I, I absolutely love them. And it works really well. I'm going to overlap it with the pin picture and my bottom word. So... Now my title ends up being Young Love, and I like that a whole lot more. And it puts a little bit in that spot. I thought about using one of the hearts off of here, but it's not going to happen. I decided to put the date on the back because I didn't know where else I was going to put it. So from June 1999. <laughs> and then sprinkling some of these hearts around because now I can. So each of these white ones or silver ones are going to get a white or a silver. So they're going to get doubled up. So paired there. And this one's going to get a white one on top. And this one's going to get a silver one on top. And I like that. We're almost done here. If you're still here, thank you so much. Because <laughs> I know this one's been long. Um, but all good. Do, do, do. I'm going to add a little bit more um, paint to these corners to add a bit of distressing. I'm going to use a wet wipe to wipe off the black so it stays black. And then I'm going to add some water to this paint because I'm just going to keep using it. And I'm going to splatter. 
and that definitely um, helped for what I wanted on this page, especially above that young love on the, the black. I really like how that turned out. And then here is it close up. All of those loved ones. Aren't we cute? <laughs> you can see some of that paint on the bottom there too. There'll be some, some still shots to follow. Um, so you can take a look. If you liked my video and you're still here, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you would like to see more, I would love it if you subscribe. Um, there is a playlist, a subscribe button, and another video here for you. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day.